Okay. Sugar and sissy. This is sissy right here. They get along well together. And sugar right there. Well, I got it, Jim. You can call anytime. My wife and I are retired, so it's not like we're doing a job. Although, it seems like I stay busier retired than I did when I was working. Anyway, again, sugar, sugar right there, and sissy right here. Easiest way to tell them is their back. Miss Sissy's got two spots on her back, and sugar's solid back there on her back. But they're both just really neat puppies. They're not real certain about outside yet. They haven't been out that many times, just a couple. So, <laughs> well, whatever. But they are playful, they are energetic, and typical of the Catan breed, like I said. They're just, all our puppies seem to be. We have three females here, and and, and Charlie the male. Everybody stays in our house. We raise the puppies in our house. We interact with them from the day they're born. So they're pretty socially developed when they go to their new forever home, which is a good thing. You know, you don't want, want them crying and carrying on. They want You want them to be happy with their new owner and comfortable with people in general. We have grandchildren and at times, you know, they're around them too not quite old enough to be real comfortable around any overly excited children but okay but anyway that's them again there's sissy get out of the weeds <laughs> one potty they're familiar pretty much with being outside they're raised around potty pads all the time uh, but I'm not going to say they're house broke because they're not but they, they do go potty outside when they come out pretty regularly. Sugar. Anyway, call me anytime because I'm home all the time. I got my phone with me most of the time. If I don't, if I don't have it, just uh, leave me a voicemail and I'll call you back. Thanks. Have a blessed day. Appreciate your interest.